So down on Mac, French Road, banging. I say, I came and met you, mm, 88, somewhere in there. I know it was a drought. But anyway, I needed some work, and my dad introduced me to you, you know, and I think that that was a good move, because, hey, here we are now. I got my main man, Eddie Jackson. We back on Cool John Chronicle. We're going to get us some good questions in, and he's going to tell us, and we're going to appreciate it. And we're going to first say, what's happening? How you doing? What's happening, man? Good Peace to be love, back. But, hey, it's good to be back, man. All the time. It's beautiful to be back. All the time. So dig, man. You was down there on French Road, showed us the spot and everything. Right. How long you banged down there? Well, I'll tell you like this, from about 1988 to about 19, let's say, 2000. 2000. Now, I left in 95, but I met you in like 89. But you was already down there slapping almost really when I came down there. You had been down there, and, aunt, and, and your cousins and all them was down there slapping. So you say you were gross about what, a monthly? Monthly at French Row? Yeah. It depends on what time, at the height of the hustle? In the height of your hustle. I was doing, like I would tell you, I would do a key in about seven hours in Nickel Rock. In Nickel Rock? Seven hours. And break down what? About mm -hmm. 2,000 each hour. 2,000. So that's pretty and good nickels. money. That's pretty good money, and that's money moving fast in nickels. So you rarely had any type of sleep. So when you when you come down through there and the police get on you, because I know you're in, in, in the second uh, corner boys, you named a few officers that was like harassing you or you know trying to pinch you, squeeze you, right. you know. You ultimately got away from them, or what happened with that situation? Uh, ultimately, I wound up paying off. Rodney <laughs> Rice, okay. Wound up show. Okay. It's cold, Mark okay. P, Cook, and Cartabella. Okay, so you got to pay to play. So would people say you were rat? Or would you say you was doing business? I would say there was no business to be done if you didn't play their game. Or you would squoze out. Let me tell you this. They was killers. Mm -hmm. They ain't squoze out. Mm -hmm. the cold. Mm -hmm. It's over. So you got to get your hands wet in the right way out here in Detroit. So you've been here, man, for a few days, a few weeks now. What well, places yeah. you done went to eight? Well, I went to, uh, what was that? Uh, Cheap Penny, uh, Petty, Cash. Petty Cash. Petty Cash. Petty yeah, Cash. Petty Cash. They just you know, open too. Petty Cash. They had good food. Good Petty food. Cash was nice over there on Living Noise. Good clientele. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I had nice drinks. Nice joint. Nice decor. Love it. So we'll I got back. to get out. Definitely. I would say it's a must go to. Must. I got to stop it. down at all our joints here. So. You hearing it? Petty Cash is the number one with my man EJ. So, you know. Tell us a little bit about your Patreon. Well, it's a $5. It's a paid channel, which is hard to start off because anytime someone is used to getting something for free, mm -hmm. it's hard to switch off and pay for So you got to support your people, man. You know, you see us in the transitions. Give us some love. Don't be so stingy. We ain't, can't do nothing too much with $5, but we will appreciate it and use it all wisely. We all got objectives. That's what we're trying to do. So, we ain't gonna talk on two. What I wanna ask you, how do you feel about the situation with this gunner, this snitching, the Atlanta situation, with all that, from, from our era to now, your outlook on snitching and the transformation of it? Let me put it like this, and I'll make it short this In my day, if you was a snitch, and a nigga told the nigga that you was copping from or anything that you was a snitch, he liable to kill you. He liable to fuck you. Mm -hmm. But now, you can tell a guy a guy's a snitch and he'll still serve him. Mm -hmm. So, you think that comes from greed or the lack thereof or no loyalty? What's your breakdown of that? I would say that? a little bit of both. A little bit of all of greed. But a mother don't realize $5 might not be worth your freedom. We'll be back with more Corner Boys with your boy Antonio. Like, comment, subscribe here on Coney Island Chronicle.